Pastor Uncle and my Sunday school teacher for giving me this opportunity to talk about Jesus Christ in all 66 books of the Bible, 39 in Old Testament and 27 in New Testament. In Genesis, Jesus Christ is the seed of the world. In Exodus, he is Passover with life. In Leviticus, he is our high priest. In Numbers, he is a pair of prophet by day and a pair of fire by night. In Deuteronomy, he is a prophet by Moses. In Joshua, he is a captain of fraud, salvation. In Judges, he is a judge marked for In Ruth, he is a king of Amazon. First and second Samuel, he is our trusted prophet. In Kings and Chronicles, he is our reign king. In Ezra, he is a faithful scribe. In Amen, he is a rebuilder, the broken of walls of human life. In Esther, he is our Marcai. In Job, he is our ever living redeemer. In Psalms, he is our shepherd. In Proverbs and Ecclesiastes, he is our wisdom. In Psalms of Solomon, he is a lover and bride. In Isaiah, he is a sovereign servant. In Jeremiah and Lamentations, he is our weeping prophet. In Ezekiel, he is the son of man. In Daniel, he is the fourth man of life by a friend. In Hosea, he is their bargain. In Joel, he is baptized with the Holy Ghost and Pride. In Amos, he is a burden bearer. In Obadiah, he is our mighty people. In Jonah, he is a grateful missionary. In Micah, he is a messenger with beautiful feet. In Akun, he is the average God like. In Abakuk, he is a God the manager of Christ's revival. In Zephyr, he is our savior. In Naga, he is a restorer of God's heart and heritage. In the Grace, he is a pious son. In Bonka, he is the son of righteousness. In Matthew, he is the Messiah. In Mark, he is a miracle worker. In Luke, he is the son of man. In John, he is the son of God. In Acts, he is the son of the Lord. In Romans, he is a testifier. In 1st and 2nd Corinthians, he's the last end. In Galatians, he's the one who sets the free. In Ephesians, he's the Christ of riches. In Philippians, he's the God who meets our every need. In Galatians, he's the one who is the fullness of the Godhead. In 1st and 2nd Thessalonians, he's the soon coming king. In 1st and 2nd Timothy, he's the mediator between God and man. In Titus, he's the blessed hope. In Philemon, he's a friend closer than a brother. In Hebrews, he is the blood that washes away my sin. In James, he is a great physician. In first and second Peter, he is the chief shepherd. In first and second and third John, he is everlasting love. In Jude, he is the God our Savior. In Revelation, he is the King of kings and the Lord of lords.